Today I will show you how you can use Lightroom or Photoshop's camera raw to make your photos even more interesting, to go from regular photo to something more like this. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun episode. Lightroom or Photoshop's camera raw, they are completely the same thing. They are pretty powerful tool for image editing, for color grading, etc. So today I will do everything, my editing I will do in Lightroom, but if you don't have Lightroom, if you have Photoshop, you can go to Photoshop's camera row and follow exactly the same steps there. So let's jump straight into Lightroom and let the fun begin. Right guys, today we will play with this photo and in case you want to follow this tutorial along with me, you have the link down there in the description to download this raw file. So just jump there, download it and then come back to the tutorial. Right, so what's the idea behind this editing? I want to make this image much more interesting than it's right now. Now, as you can see, this girl is lit from probably some window, natural daylight, etc. But she's reading some spell book, as you can see here, it's a bit in the blur, but some spell book and she has some kind of a crystal. So I want to make overall scene a little bit more magical and more dramatic. So my idea is to make everything more darker, like the room is a bit darker and to change the colors to make the room more cooler, bluish, and then to glow up this crystal to make it like more reddish, yellowish color, and also her face, bit of the book, just for uh, actually the lights from the crystal, that crystal will emit that, and that's basically it. So let's do that. Let's first make everything a bit darker. I will go with exposure and just make it around one or something, just a bit darker. Also, I want to lower the highlights a bit, not too much, but something like that feels nice. Also shadows, I want to open them a bit just to equalize more. I don't want so much darkness in the shadows, so that's cool. And if you press backslash, you can see before and after, so that's cool, before and after. And now what I like to do, I like to change the color temperature. So I said I want everything a bit warmer, so around 3, uh, 3, 3200 for this image looks pretty good for me. Okay, that's a good start. Now what I need to do, I need to brighten up some parts like Crystal, Facebook, etc. So for that, I will use some really cool tools in Lightroom right here in Photoshop, you have the same but on another side on the left side up. So if you're following this in Photoshop, make sure to check somewhere here. So I will go with this radial filter. This is really cool tool. And what I like to do, I just like to make like elliptical shape something like this and uh, you can see if i want to brighten something here i will bright everything brighten up everything except the circle so i need to invert it go down here and invert that and also i want to feather this more so i don't want to have something like that i want to feather it all the way so this is the crystal it's a bit brighter and that's cool but also i want to make it warmer i want to make it all the way to uh, 100 with the yellow so this is cool and this is pretty good for start maybe a bit of highlights here but the start is pretty decent now i want to make another elliptical shape and also i need to invert it and feather it and also I want to make this a bit warmer not like this because she is further away from the light source and she won't be so warm so something like this is cool maybe a bit here and also I want to put this on left side too but not too much I want to have uh, her left side our right side a bit in the dark so something like this and to feather it maybe maybe this looks cool right and I will again press on the radial filter and get out of everything so now if we see before and after we already have really big dramatical change but we will make it even better so now I will play with a few other things. I will go with the brush, adjustment brush. That's a really cool tool because you have a brush and you can paint wherever you want and you have a lot of cool settings here. So I'll not go through all the settings. I will just do my thing right here. So what I like to do, I like to make the exposure a bit brighter. Also, I want to make temperature a bit warmer and we can always change that later, I will show you that. And also I want to feather, I want to feather the brush a lot, all the way to 100% to have those nice transition from, I don't want harsh edges. And flow, I want to have a lower flow because I don't want to paint everything straight away and the density a bit lower. So now if I start to paint 
let's paint here just to see what's what's going on so something like this and now if i go and turn the effect off you can see on and off really small subtle change soft change and we can always make it brighter or we can always go with the flow if we want to oops not to move this but if you want to add even more etc so i want to delete now this part and i want to paint here on the book on the crystal on the face etc so something like this is cool and now i will just start brightening up these parts all right i want to make a book big brighter light. let's do this too okay maybe these parts too and let me see before and after yeah we did pretty nice job maybe to lower the brush not to decrease the rating but i want to lower the brush with the bracket keys all right so just to add a bit more here okay that's cool and i will go out of the brush maybe to make it warmer let me see mm, something like that i will go out of the brush that's cool and now I will go back to my radial filter and I want to add even more effect here to the crystal. So I will go and create another elliptical shape. Okay. Again, I want to invert it, to feather it a lot. And this time I will play with the color. So I want to add like a red color. That's cool. You can do with any color that you want, whatever. But I want to add like a red color right here. And also you can play with... Uh, the temperature too maybe red and a bit warmer something like that and this time i want to make it brighter even brighter and also i want to boost the highlights a bit i want to open the shadows a bit and maybe add a clarity so this is cool maybe something like like that this looks nice right and then i will go back to my brush so this is really nice i really love this effect but in the brush i also want to make that right um, red color and a bit warmer and i want to let me see my feather here i want just to paint like some highlights right here and also on the face maybe a bit here on the book maybe here and like that maybe a bit here let's lower the flow even more like that but here I really oof, I moved this point I don't want that so I want here to add a bit of that too okay now we can zoom this and I want to play with the eyes so I want to add a new brush setting so I'll go to a new okay and I want to make the eyes let's let's lower the situation all the way to zero because I don't want to play now with this I just want to make the eyes a bit brighter and maybe I will change it more towards the blue let's see Let's lower the brush size with the bracket keys. Okay, and another one. Just to make it a bit brighter. And now we can change the color temperature, maybe more towards the blue, like that. All right, let me see. We cannot see anything because of these things, but let me see before, yeah and after this is cool so i'll go out of the brush click on the brush again and this is what we have this is really cool guys we can play even more maybe more redness etc but this this looks pretty decent now this uh, yellow color and uh, i don't know the background look, looks a bit distracting to me so i will go back down here to hue and saturation and go to the hue of the greens and actually i will boost the greens like that and go to saturation and lower Lowers. now it's much better for me so this is not too distracting and also i want to add a bit of bluish tint in the shadows so this is cool this is something really nice maybe more towards the shadows than the midtones so something like that also you can add something in the highlights if you want you can do that but i don't want to add it too much and also i will add a vignette so let's go down and yeah to make it even darker so this is cool we can also play with maybe some sharpening to sharpen this a bit if i press and hold alt or option key i can see what i want to sharp make sharpen 
sharper actually so everything that is white will be sharper that's cool radius again everything that is visible will be affected so i want to lower the radius like that 0.67 and let me show you now before we started with this a regular photo shot on a daylight really nice photo and we made something like this much much more interesting uh dramatic tones and really cool effect we can even go and maybe add right here we can add some clarity maybe we can add some decays if we want to make it more mystical or that or remove it whatever that's completely your choice how we want to have a look of that maybe even darker the blacks to have even more contrast and drama there etc so so this is cool let me show you one again once again before and after before and after so that's basically it guys and one beautiful thing about doing retouching in Lightroom or Photoshop's camera row is that you can always go back and tweak some settings if you're not satisfied how it looks so let me show you that really quickly so for example the face maybe it's too bright for my taste so I can go back to my adjustment things so I will go to my elliptical tool and maybe I want to lower the brightness maybe it's too bright right now yeah something like this would be maybe more appropriate maybe around 80 or 90 or something like that also I, will, I can lower the highlights too so that's cool and let me see now yeah I like it better so before let me see before yeah this, this that's what too, that was too bright so I like it this way also I can change some global settings maybe I I want to open shadows even more maybe I want to boost the highlights global highlights even more maybe I want to play more with the crystals change the color do whatever I want with I don't know maybe add some brightness to the spells word I don't know you can do whatever you want but this is the basic what you can do from just a regular image really cool image to make something more interesting and more dramatic maybe the blue of the background you find too saturated you can go and lower that so all the way or maybe make it even more saturated maybe you want to change the color of the background to more something like this or maybe to green or whatever so that's the beauty of retouching here you can do whatever you want and always go back and change it Right guys, so that's basically it for today. I really hope that you like this episode and that you learn some new, cool and useful things. If you like this content, if you appreciate this episode, just press the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and also just ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, just leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Also guys, if you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and also you'll get some things in return. Have an experiment and see you guys in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.